Members of the Phoenix Police Department didn't waste any time gathering for Operation High Tide. Uh, one of the things that we're trying to focus on as we move into 2013, our crime reduction plan focuses on guns, gangs, warrants, warrants, and multi-jurisdictional policing. This is part of that today. What you're seeing here, Operation High Tide, is a commitment by the Phoenix Police Department to work not only in the execution of warrants, felony warrants, and making sure that those warrants are addressed, but also working with other departments. Operation High Tide involves hundreds of people. The idea was developed about eight weeks ago. The goal, to protect the community and to arrest criminals. The target areas this time included hot spots in Northwest Phoenix, Partnerships with many law enforcement, business, and community groups made Operation High Tide work. Even the county's chain gang got involved. The message to the public is, hey, public safety has always been a priority for the Phoenix Police Department. As a matter of fact, we're dedicating time, we're dedicating resources, and we're working with other departments, other City of Phoenix departments, and actually other jurisdictions to keep Phoenix safer. And so we're going after known offenders. If those offenders are, if they have felony warrants, if they have misdemeanor warrants, and in addition, the community is going to see an increased uh, enforcement in the areas that we have identified as higher crime areas. The uh, Phoenix PD and Phoenix Fire Department have a great relationship. We actually co-located, we have our Homeland Defense Section, which does a lot of these special events or events that throughout the city that we, when we work together we bring a unified command approach. Um, so uh, bringing in other agencies and when this, when this happens on these large scale incidents or events, uh, bringing in these agencies just you know something that we do consistently so that it makes operations safe for our folks and for the community. You know, it's very important that communication and interoperability is very key to the success of these events. Open the door please. One after the other, police and squad leaders hit numerous locations, serving warrants and arresting violators. We went into that room. Uh, there was three occupants inside that room, two females and a male who is uh, not actively a DOC person, but he has killed his number, meaning he is no longer under the Department of Corrections stipulations for being paroled. Um, but inside that room, we found a decent quantity of methamphetamine and or cocaine which we will have field tested, as well as we also found a small handgun that could be concealed on somebody's person. Uh, in, in, inside that room with three people, there was like eight backpacks. Uh, and of course, uh, some of the dope was found in one of the purses that one of the ladies actually claimed was her purse. So far, I think it's been proven to be a pretty successful operation from our standpoint. Uh, we've already got enough people that we have our own wagon uh, and I think I believe we have four, five, six people already inside that wagon. Uh, we didn't start till 7 a.m. Then it was back to the staging area for booking. Anybody that can make an arrest today, we'll just send a unit right out to pick up their arrest so they don't have to stop what they're doing, bring the prisoner back here. They go right into the booking tent. We do the pre-booking out here. We load them up into a wagon after they've been pre-booked, and we've got wagons that are ready to just take them down and drop them off at the jail, completely bypassing centralized booking and the other details. Uh, officers will be able to collect, uh, package up their evidence here if they need to do it. And uh, we'll also be going out with some of the details just to bring them right back so that uh, we can streamline the entire process today and make it faster. When it was all said and done, more than 149 people were arrested during the two-day operation. This does not include DUI statistics. Protecting the public and making the streets safer continues to be the aim.